Hi guys. See how the, the, the wind is blowing my hair. I feel like Beyonce on stage right now. Every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better day. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. So foggy, but I've never... So something happened up last week. Last week, um, Tuesday. On Monday, we went to get our insurance um, card. Went to apply for health insurance, basically. Then we're given a temporary insurance um, document to use so that was a Monday came back home you know everything was okay because I've been trying to get you know a family doctor a pediatrician a gynecologist you know, and all the other good stuff just in case my son gets sick or I need to see the gynecologist or anything you know so on Tuesday right I was supposed to go to work like pretty early, let's say for 6 a.m. So usually, I I leave the dustbin outside sometimes so that I can pick it up in the morning and empty it. So this that last week Tuesday's morning, oh god, what does that even mean? So on that Tuesday, there's a dog that is um, close to our house. The next building to the next building to us, they have a dog there. Am I breathing so hard? So the weather is really cold. So there's a dog day and something happened last month. Yeah. I went I'm just gonna empty the bin, my son and I, before we stepped out. That was how the dog charged at us. You know, I was really scared. I almost fell on my son. I don't have issues with dogs, but when your dog is wild, eh? Doesn't seem to make sense. So I called my husband immediately and because I was I was panting, you know. I call him that see what happened though that this man did not sh um, put a dog on the leash and didn't charge that us that thank god i didn't get so close to it that i don't know what would have happened so my husband called 911 that man they not think enough we will call the police he doesn't want trouble so he called them as, and just you know t told them that this is what this is like the first thing that we heard when we moved into this house that the woman just let her dog loose that the dog usually chase children and we have a one-year-old so that's how on tuesday we had to get into the bin so i'll give you the backstory so on tuesday we had to get into the bin that was how so i think he wasn't even paying attention that was how the dog charged at him and chased him this man fell i heard the sound from bed right but i was just like oh, maybe he's the owner of the dog and their family members i didn't even know who was licking you know, that was how the dog charged him and chased him to the extent that he fell. He was wearing his um, office office boots, you know, I put it on sight. So he was wearing his um, office boots. I forgot what that thing is called. So he was wearing it, so he fell. His hand, and eventually when he showed me where he fell at, I was scared because anything could have gone wrong. The pavement could have... You know, it is chest and all that. I'm just stepping up now, so when I get back home, I will show you where the stuff happened. You know, and that's how his hand was bruised, his leg is bruised, or he's still bruised actually. You know, then he called the ambulance before he came to call me. So he called the ambulance, and the ambulance came. I'll put a video of the ambulance. You know, yeah. When they came, so they took him into the into their van you know they gave, i think they gave him first aid and i think when i think it was after they saw where he fell down and the impact it could have so they told him to go to the ER, right that he needed to go and check his you know chest so he went to he went and got an x-ray and that was how we're just we're just grateful that you know nothing major really happened to him and i don't know that people like dogs right but when you have a wild dog wild dogs are not supposed to be pets that's a dogs be mauling you know children you see it online that you know the dog you know charge that you know little children that, that even that they grew up together the, the, the dog is not your child something like your baby a dog is like, i don't have issues with dog but a wild dog um rottweiler you know pitbull you know all of this they are not they are wild animals let's be realistic you know they are wild animals you shouldn't allow them you know to be roaming or to be to i don't know it just i'm just it was really it was really painful and it was really 
you know, to have that kind of thing happen. And and because of that, he couldn't go to work, you know, that day. He just had to, you know, chill at home and, you know, but it didn't just make sense, you know. Having a wild dog untamed, un unleashed, you know. Anyway, uh, that is that is the, that is the answer. Then now you know, everybody has to scare the girls. And police, police, police came. Police came from the last time that we reported her. They came, and you know I think they spoke to her. But the woman, I heard she has mental issues. I don't think we, I don't have. I, I pity her because of her mental you know issues. But she put her dog on on hold. I we have kids. Even uh, our our neighbor up in our building, seven the five year old child. She's always and she's been in the house for like three years and she's always scared of the dog too. It doesn't just make sense. People should train all their dogs. Oh, big. Another gist is I went to the I went to the hospital, you know, while I was in my quest for looking for the hospital. I didn't know why I'm speaking on this but bad English this morning. But just you know you still understand what I'm saying, yeah. In my quest, you know, looking for hospitals, I went to one and I just wanted to go and, you know, register, but they said it was a walk-in hospital. I wanted to go and register, and they said, after they were done registering, they said I have to pay $65 for consultation. I was like, okay, is it, is it like a one-off payment or any time I come, I'm just using that $65. I said, no, every other time I come for, to see the doctor, he would, I would have to pay $65. Are you kidding me? Just because we didn't have our health um, card at that time. So now we've got in, you know, something. Out, um, out tempera, you know, document. Um, um, so now, so they gave me uh, because I, it was my first time, so I think they needed my medical history. So they gave me document. To, oh shit! I left document at home. Shit! I, I left document at home, so now I have to go back home. Shit! 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 Okay, I, I can't go. I can't go again today. Let me just go home. I gotta rest. It's because it's 3 p.m. now. Before I go, before I walk home and I walk back, I beg. I'm exhausted. So yeah, thank God I was thank God I was doing this vlog. If not, I'd have just gone there and it's like about thirty minutes go and come. I just spent one hour wasting my time. I think I might I might just still go back anyway. I might still go back ah, to avoid stories that touch. So yeah, but I have a feeling that they might tell me to to come back tomorrow because there was a time because weather is quite cold now. There was a time in Germany when. I had to go for a blood um, test and I went there in the evening where the weather has come down and I was told to come back in the morning because my blood was I was told to come back in the morning when my blood is still hot and now that my blood is cold and am I am I am I really bleed the bleeding might not stop so but let me take a risk hopefully they don't say that or if they do it's another opportunity for me to step out of the house and take a walk but yeah i'm almost home now so i think i might just go back but the buses i think the buses come every 30 minutes and i have a feeling that when i drop this man out of the stroller to put him back would be a struggle because he might just sleep so but i don't know anyway Ah, uh, I'll let you know how it goes. So now that I'm home, so this is my apartment. And um, so this is the apartment of the woman that holds the dog towards my right. And the dustbin is just by the corner there. And the dog was here by their own dustbin. So this was where, this was the area in which my husband fell. This part, like this, here. And he could have eaten his chest here, could have eaten his head here. Because he said the dog was dog ran from there to this place and was you know panting at him and just you know backing at him on this spot you know so that is it <laughs> something weird just happened the woman that owns the dog caught me as i was <laughs> making a video just so she doesn't release her dog at me one day anyway because i'm strong i'm heading back to the bus stop now 
I don't do it today. Eh? There's a possibility that tomorrow might be colder than today, and that's just the end. That's just the end. That's just the way it is. Mm. Things will never be the same. <laughs> that's just the way it is. Hey, oh yeah. Uh, mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Some kids in that school bus were looking at me, and I'm like, "Ah, oh, me, oh, ah, oh, me, eh, eh, ah, oh, me, oh, ah, oh, me, oh, deco, come here, oh, deco, come here." I'm quite excited today because I'm going out because I always feel like if my Monday goes well, the rest of the week is going to be fantabulous. But if I start my Monday tired. You know, at the end of the week, it's just going to be bleh, bleh, bleh. <laughs> So I saw Gudrun Pio inside the bus. Hi, Gudrun Pio. I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want saving I like to be my own worst enemy There's no risk if you don't try at anything So I'ma just keep buying everything See you in the next life, have to be a better me I don't think that my head's on straight Gotta flip it and grip it and go and get an x-ray What's wrong with me? I just feel way Pushing on my chest and it squeeze till I suffocate Better this is out of um, contest, but I have a friend that doesn't like when I smack, when I talk. Like when I'm saying uh, my guys and I'm mwah, 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 doesn't like it. I, I never liked it too. But these days now when I talk and I smack, it makes the, it makes the talk very, very interesting in my ears. <laughs> anyway, if it makes you feel uncomfortable, <laughs> I'm sorry, I will stop it. <laughs> In a hard place, do I work hard or live in my pace? You're only young one, yeah, that's all great. But I also want a future where I'm okay. Living life is doing lots of cocaine. Wait, no, it's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. Cause there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut, it can show you what you want. Live it life. Hi guys, so updates now. Um, my blood work has been done. And I, I, I was thinking that it wouldn't be like Germany where, you know, they take like a pint of blood, but they actually did. It took about, I think, four bottles. I just, you know, like five pints. You know for a um, pipette of uh, blood yeah so my result comes out in two days which is fair anyway on my way home now the weather has really come down and um asha is sleeping because the weather is good and anyway see you guys ah so we're done for today um we just got off the bus now um I don't with today's runs. Uh -uh. Uh, man, this is my hair. Today it's looking like sponge. I think it needs conditioning. Too much shea butter. I apply shea butter so much, and I'm always putting it on it. Anyway, we're going home now. We're almost done. Let's go and eat a bar. A bar for you. Okay, I'll see you guys. So, um, up until now, the videos are for this week. The, the videos I get to see now are from last week. Should have posted this, but I just started to combine everything. Uh, and it's been a while I had a sit down video. It's been a really long time. And I hope to do one soon. There was one that I did in Germany that I was trying to edit, which is um, getting married in Europe, basically. Which was, I was, I was, as, I was, as I tried to edit it, I figured out that I lost a lot of um, clips. So I'm going to do it again, as though I am still in Germany. So I won't say it as if, I won't, I won't talk about it or I won't, you know, do my video as um, someone living in Canada now. I'm going to do it as though I'm in Germany. So I think that should be my next video. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, cheers. <coughs> Jesus.
But I've never seen clearer I don't really think anyone can save me And honestly, I'm not really sure I want So today's Monday, I have an appointment at Service Ontario To get our health insurance card And boy, see people waiting These people don't even have an appointment Thank God we had an appointment Thank God we had booked for one Hi guys Welcome back to my channel ah, The weather is so beautiful today I decided to step out So we are taking a stroll around my area Ah, please, if you live in Scarborough, Canada, and you can make hair, please do let me know. See me still making a video recently while I was in Germany about hair making abroad. And now, at least I have someone that was making my hair. Esther, I see you. <laughs> but, you know, here now, I don't know anybody yet, and I don't know how I'm going to make my hair. Thank God I have a lot of wigs. If you see what is under my wig, <laughs> you pulled. You pulled pretty for me. Happy, but, yeah, there, if make hair, affordable hair, please. I think it's in Canada, please. In Scarborough, it's Canada, please let me know. Oh, God, look at that beauty. I'm sure you what be wondering that why am I always, you know, I pin myself. I don't help myself. Who will? So, please, 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 guys, help me out, help my ministry so that I can look good, 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 good. <laughs> um, so now that um, Halloween is over. I can't wait to start seeing, you know, Christmas decorations everywhere. It's going to be really nice. <laughs> because people take things seriously in this part of the world. Or our kids in the western, you know, part of the world. I can't wait to see the kind of decorations people, you know, are going to be having in their houses. It's going to be really nice. How are you, my friend? How do you do, my friend? To so my German friends and my friends in you know germany and my friends in nigeria how are you guys doing i know we don't talk often but johnny drill has made us you know understand that you know we are there for each other if you miss me call me or send me a message i'll definitely respond everybody around me know that i always respond to messages so if you miss me call me <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh God. Hi guys. My name is Adela Mihashake. <laughs> so this is a reminder to me and for anyone, you know, who cares to hear this. Um, you didn't come this far to only come this far. So just keep pushing. Because the closer I get to my goals, the closer I think I'm getting to my goals, the, the closer I feel like I'm done, you know? I'm, and I feel like I'm so close, I'm so close, I'm so close, and I feel like I'm done, like I'm so close. So this is me, you know, speaking to me, so that I can hear and, you know, take my own advice. And, you know, my son is <laughs> walking so far from me. There was a number of lads yesterday that someone kidnapped a child, like a father kidnapped his child. So. This boy is not going to leave my presence for any reason. I beg, I cannot shout. <laughs> As I was saying, so um, I decided that I intentionally want to take a walk every day. You know, just to get some fresh air, to clear my head. But every single time I try, I think about it, you know, but every single time I try to try, I just end up, you know, just sitting down there, you know, and just, you know, doing other stuff, responding to emails and all that. So I decided, at least since yesterday now, I stepped out and today I'm here now. And I think I kind of like it. I think it's also because the weather is really good. So just, you know, taking it all in. <laughs>
hi guys uh welcome to my channel today today is um november 11th um the weather is really bad outside you know i said something yesterday that i want to you know start walking around um i went out yesterday i went out two days ago but weather today is cold i'm not interested in you know doubling up and and all that good stuff anyway today's video is not so um serious i just want to you know rant the first thing i'm going to say is one thing I'm not going to deprive myself of is pampering. Yes, I know I've not reached where I want to reach. You know, I've, I know I've not achieved the goal that I want to achieve. But when I do achieve what I want, you know, there's no stopping me. You're going to be seeing pampering everywhere. You're going to be seeing me everywhere, you know. Soft baby girl life. <laughs> One thing I know, you know, the devil likes to do is um, prey on people's pain. You know. And sometimes you forget that the pain that we go through is God's surgery, you know, preparing you for something really big. I usually base my the result of my hard work, you know, off. I usually base it off of um, people's um, successes. You know, I'm asking people now, how do you weigh your, you know, your hard work? Do you weigh it off? Do you weigh it um, based off of um, people's um, successes? You know, people around me know that. I usually say this a lot that, you know, I should have achieved this when I was in Germany. I should have done this. I should have done this. I should have done this. You know, in all honesty, I don't dwell in self pity. If you know me, I don't dwell in self pity. You know, I'm so hyper. You know, but I usually just feel like, mm, you know, like a lot of people that, you know, are hard workers and things are not going according to plan. I just want to encourage you that, you know, your harvest time is almost here. How about the people that put you know a lot of work in their doings and don't get you know good results what should we say about them you know so we need to do better you know we need to to really understand you know we need to have faith you need to understand what faith is because the devil will make you focus on the wrong things because instead of you to thank god for being alive first you start to complain about the fact that you don't have a job or you don't have a child or your career is not moving or you're not married you know all i'll just say is i'll be grateful be grateful you know of what you have at present you know i'm grateful for life you know i'm happy about everything it's not it's just that recently i checked my weight i was weighing 76 they owe me 76 i used to weigh 65 68 before marriage or before you know before i got pregnant even when i was pregnant i didn't have so much weight you know my last pregnancy weight was 71 i lost it you know drastically and i came back to 65 after i gave birth but what came to Canada was 68-ish. So now you know why I wasn't happy. <laughs> you know, but I'm grateful for peace of mind. You know, and for that, I won't stop eating. And I won't stop eating late because I eat to live. And this has been eating rice and no father. <laughs> that's a father's stuff. No, no, no. I'm really chicken. It's like Niger chicken. I go to strong, strong ones. I don't know. I need cold. I need cold drink. Let me get it. I'm coming. <laughs> I need. I need to top it. It's cold. This team. I don't kill myself. Because person is alive. Let's enjoy all of these things. And I'm not kill myself. <laughs> Thank you guys all and I'll see you in the next one. Oh God, yeah. And look at my hair. What I was saying about you know what was under my wig. Yeah, this was what was under my wig. I put I think I put a clip before that was the day I would, I took out my hair that I washed it that I was straightening it but I just did this I don't know how to make hair but I don't know anyway thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one cheers <laughs>